and welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, E.T. Williams, the doctor of common sense. Now, have you seen what they're trying to do in Virginia? All you go along passive Republicans, all of you so-called woke Democrats, after a while, you're not going to even have any rights, parental rights over your own children. In Virginia, they want to pass a law that make you make it where they can criminally prosecute parents for not affirming their child transgenderism. The Democratic Virginia delegate Elizabeth Guzman is a social worker, and she's planning on reintroducing a bill in Richmond that she says would help protect LGBTQ children from their parents and guardians who may not be affirming of their child's sexual orientation and gender identity. This is how we're going to push back. Her bill would expand the state's definition of child abuse and neglect to include parents who do not affirm their child's gender identity or sexual orientation. There is an investigation also in place that is not only, you know, from a social worker, but there is also a police investigation before we make the decision that there is going to be a CPS charge. What could the penalties be if, you know, the investigation concludes and it's concluded that a parent is not affirming of their LGBTQ child, what could the consequences be? Well, we first have to have an investigation. You know, it could be a felony, it could be a misdemeanor, but we know that CP a CPS charge could harm, you know, your employment, could harm your education. And Alexandria, Nick Minox, 7 News. Just let that sink in for a minute. They want to make sure if the child goes to school and get brainwashed by these perverted teachers at the school, if they go to school and the teacher starts telling them, I think you're transgender. I believe that you're trans. I think Tommy wants to be Tammy. I think that Tammy wants to be uh, Thomas. And if you don't affirm that, you could lose your job. You could be criminally prosecuted. They're literally saying this now. See, this is the kind of stuff they used to hide. Now, think about what they're saying here. Murderers are getting out of jail. Child molesters are getting out of jail. Carjackers. We had the fella in Chicago, got arrested 15 times, let out of jail. We got all these criminals running around who keep getting released out of jail after committing violent crimes, but they want to make parents criminals by prosecuting them because you do not affirm the LGBTQ. I tried to warn people. I've been warning people about this for the last 20, 25 years. You can go along to get along all you want to. They want to destroy your rights. These are the anti-God crowd. And you got the, the Ralph Warnock down in Georgia who says he's a preacher and he wants to back this, I'm sure, because he's for the LGBTQ plus community. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, or your pastor, because if your pastor... I like to keep bringing up people phony pastors because if your pastor is supporting the Democratic Party, he's saying that parents shouldn't have a right. If you had these same people back in the days of the biblical days, they would have told the parents of Moses. They would have told the parents of Isaiah. Matter of fact, they would have told Hannah with Samuel. You don't need to be raising him with the Lord. Maybe Samuel wants to be Samantha. The delegate is introducing a new bill centered around parents and how they handle their child's sexual orientation and gender identity. 7 News reporter Nick Minock explains why this is controversial. Right now, parents' rights and LGBTQ protections are a big focus in Virginia. Thousands of students in Virginia have walked out of class protesting Governor Glenn Youngkin's newly proposed model policies on the treatment of transgender students at school. Trans rights are human rights! And Governor Youngkin argues schools shouldn't keep parents in the dark about their child's sexual orientation and gender identity. These same progressives in Fairfax County actually believe that they should lock parents out of their children's lives. They think that parents have no right to know what your child is discussing with their teacher or their counselor. They're making it where the parents are going to be prosecuted. In other words, you don't have a right as a parent. This used to be the most important thing when kids went to school. The relation, a good relationship between parent and the teacher. Now the teacher wants you to pay for these kids, you to raise them, you have all the headaches. But when they go to school, you get brainwashed. They brainwash your kids. I was listening to, I don't know if he was an archaeologist or something. He was talking about what happens 
when these kids go off to college. People talk glibly about science. What is science? People coming out of a university with a master's degree or a PhD, you take them into the field and they, they literally don't believe anything and this is a peer-reviewed paper. It's the only thing they accept. And you say to them, but let's observe, let's think, let's discuss. They don't do it. It's just, is it in a peer-reviewed paper or not? And that's their view of science. I think it's pathetic. Gone into universities as bright young people, they come out of them brain dead, not even knowing what science means. They forget how to think. Facts don't mean anything to these people anymore. No Their minds are being destroyed in college. Maybe one of the, the most dangerous places you can send your kids today is college. It is a breathing ground for socialism. It is a breathing ground for communism. It is a breathing ground for anti-God sentiment. And you got people who says, I'm a Christian. I believe in the Constitution. But I support the Democratic Party. Well, you can't. See, you can't have it both ways. These are the kind of folks you need to ask. Do you believe in absolutes? Do you believe in factual evidence? If I show you evidence, video evidence, concrete evidence, can it change your mind? Because if it's not, they're not going to listen to facts. It's easy to defeat these people. Of course they believe in absolute. Well, you ask them, are you talking to me right now? Well, how are you sure you're talking to me if there's no such thing as absolute? Matter of fact, ignore me. I don't exist. Because there's no such thing as absolute. So I can't be offending you. You can't be getting offended by what I'm saying because there is no such thing as absolute. And since there's no such thing as absolute, what I'm saying is meaningless. I'm not even talking right now. You're listening to, I don't know, you're making it up in your mind. But you can't have a mind because there's no such thing as minds because there's no such thing as absolutes. This circular argu argument of insanity. They're saying that the parents can be prosecuted for not affirming what the child say. So in other words, the child is in charge because the pervert at the school put the child in charge because they're perverts. Is society getting better? This is the question you have to ask yourself. Is society better now? Are the kids more disrespectful or is more violence with teenagers now? It's obvious what they're doing is not working, but they don't care. Because these are demonic folks. These are the people who love the works of Lucifer. And the only thing they can do is do what their daddy does is lie, steal, cheat. I think it says the thief cometh but to kill, steal, and destroy. He has come that you may have it life and have it more abundantly. They said we don't want abundant life. We want death. We want corruption. We want perversion. Honor your father and mother. They says, forget that. Don't the Bible teach honor your father and mother? When somebody asks Warnock, does he believe what the scriptures say about honor your father and mother? Because the school is saying, do not honor your father and mother. You must affirm something that they made up in their mind. Is there such thing as absolute? Yes or no? Now the parents' rights are being taken away from them in this sick society.